Hi everyone and welcome back to our character building playthrough. We are on uh, the lift from the Forbidden Lands to get into the Ashen capital now of Lindell. Um Why are we doing this? Well, basically the area we want to access would, wouldn't be accessible uh, from the other side. So yeah, we have to do it like this. There are... Um, or there is one thing we want to pick up in particular. Um, we, we, we take this one as well. Come on, we pick this up since we are just here. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. But there we go. Get rid of this guy. <laughs> oh, it's a Sombra Smithing Stone 6. All oh, right, that makes sense. Uh, do we want to deal with this guy now? Of course not. <laughs> Although... Nah, we will just ignore him. Hello guys, don't mind me just coming through. Ah, right, I forgot. For some reason you have to call the elevator back up. Hmm. That state doesn't get carried over. I, it does make sense because normally this one is down by default as well, right? So I guess it makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Sorry, don't mind me. Those are just random, <laughs> random outbursts of thinking out loud. About the dumbest stuff that you never need to think about in this game. But hey, <laughs> that's what we do, right? So, what are we gonna going to grab? We will skip the Earth Tree's favor plus one, and we will instead already go to the plus two version. Um, yes, there's actually three of those guys down there, which is something I do not want to fight. At all, I will completely ignore those guys. I honestly, I cannot be bothered. They will not drop any golden seeds. They drop a decent amount of runes. But we have been fighting enough of these guys already. Uh, the thing is, I don't know why. Normally you can get past him without getting triggered and all mad at you. I don't know what happened there. Let's hope that settles. It should be. We are we broke line of sight pretty quickly. We should be able to just scoot by. Is he is he still aggroed? On this range. Hello. There's the second one. And there's a third one in the ground somewhere. I think you're okay. All we care about is to get this item. Heyo! Earthree's favor plus two. Let's teleport back to the Ashen Capital. All right, so. How much is the difference here? Um, four points in stamina, like 2.2 in equip load. Wow, like 18 health. It doesn't seem like a lot, um, but basically it's 3, 4, and 5%. So, Earthree's favor is plus 3%, the plus 1, plus 4, and the plus 2 is plus 5%. Um, so, yeah, the higher your endurance and vigor stats are, the better. Like, the more you will benefit from this, right? So, 60 vigor benefits quite a bit. 1900 and we get to 1975 75 health doesn't seem like a lot but it is actually not a lot that's true <laughs> um yeah it is basically one of the talismans that we could switch out at some point if we wanted to um yeah. Oh, also, uh, I'd like to point something out really quickly. This is normally closed, 
Uh, once you have done the story stuff we did so far, you can go down there and grab an item that you can only grab once you progressed uh, the story to this part. You end up down in the uh, underground roadside, basically, and you could do the whole dungeon now to get the Lord of Blood's Exaltation Talisman. So, yeah, that is something, right? We also definitely need to organize some new fashion. We were running around with Huslow's armor for quite a bit now. Um, that needs to change for sure. Let's gra grab a golden sunflower. And yeah, from now on, um, we are basically pretty close to the end. Uh, if we want to, we could just do a boss rush now. But um, we will make a couple of preparations. We will fight one boss now uh, and leave three of them for later. Uh, yeah, that's I think how we do it. Because we will go and explore a little bit over in this area over here. Um, I want to give you guys a couple more of the ancient dragonsmithing stones. There's like one of each, I think, to grab, at least, if you rush through the area. There is Loretta to fight there. There is something else. Uh, there's an alterated tree spirit in case you missed one of the golden seeds in uh, Farum, or if you didn't do the fringe folk. Fringe folk, it's called, right? The first grave? Uh... Back here, yeah, Fringe Folk Heroes Grave. If you haven't done that, um, you can get another Golden Seed back up in this area. So, yeah, but first, you can have a pretty good laugh. Uh, yeah, Sir Gideon Ofnir, the All Knowing. He basically knows every single spell in the game. He's also very susceptible to bleed. I'm pretty much a pushover. That's all right, though. That is all right. That is nothing to worry about. Should we just... Yeah, why not? It's a bit of a waste, but since we have a couple of those lying around, why not just pop them? I think this fight was a mistake to do the, to, to do it, though. We get the all-knowing armor set. It wasn't a mistake. That netted us like 195k, so... <laughs> That's good. That's very decent. Very, very decent. Alrighty. Uh, enough for two levels. Can we get? Can we get one more out of that? Oh, we definitely can. We definitely can. Oh, should have popped both of them. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can get another level out of that. Sweet! Amazing! Um, good stuff. Level 113. 12 levels to go. Not that much. There's not that much left uh, in the main story. But as I said, this area awaits us. But to be able to do this, we have to clear out Castle Soul. And don't you worry, this was routed in. This is not like a random... Oh yeah, we, we do this now. Uh, I calculated Castle Soul in from the beginning because I always wanted to go towards the Halic Tree because that area is gorgeous to say the least. Hello. Uh-oh. Let's not get caught in that. I don't want to get frostbite on me. If you just roar, you wanna take that chance. Did you see that damage? <laughs> yeah. This weapon art is insanity, man. Somberstone 7. Couple more stuff as well. It's basically dead. There we go. Another Somber 7. Old Fang Beast Blood. Boomy, Kaboomy, Golden Rune 10. Sweet! 
Um, we didn't use too many flasks, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to quickly sit down at the grace because these two do not respawn at all, so that's fine. Oh uh, yeah, why was I hesitant uh, and didn't do this earlier? I think the fight in here is actually quite hard. Um, it's a very cool fight, don't get me wrong. I think this boss is uh, has a very good looking armor as well. So that might be one that we will be buying. Um, but yeah, the whole area has those pesky birds. That's not the reason, don't worry. Um, no, but honestly, I think this is a very hard fight and it deserves to be done a, a little bit late in a playthrough, honestly. Uh, you could do this once you enter the mountain tops, right? You could uh, do this earlier on now if you wanted to, but that's exactly the problem here. The bird will catch up and these knights are just no slouches at Look at this. I will just die on purpose here. Just, I didn't block or anything, so <laughs> all good. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically a planned in death, no worries. Um, it's all about making it to the grace. Uh, and here I will quit out in front of the boss fog. I do not want things to be aggroed at me and following me because that will mess up Mimic AI very, very badly. Um, so we will just do a quit out in front of the boss door. Just to be safe. Alright, we are back and as you can see, that was necessary. <laughs> right, let's hope the Mimic survives the initial assault. Commander Nile or Neil. I, hmm, how do you pronounce this actually? That's, that could just be Neil, right? Uh, but yeah, these two knights, these guys, oh my god, they deal a lot of damage. Um, and you might think using the weapon art on them is uh, a little bit of too much, but believe me when I tell you it's not, as you see. Holy smokes! Yeah, he was buffed by Neil, actually. <laughs> but still. Alright, try to. But yeah, uh, as you saw there, he can actually buff these guys up. Uh, and you saw how damaging those guys were without the buff. But with the buff, man, these, these guys are just like dishing out damage. And I'm not sure just how much poise they do have or if they have like a mechanic built into them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm able to heal out of that. He just was able to wail on me there, but yeah, we should use our weapon art um, to get rid of those guys fast. Oh, I walked into that as well, that's my bad. But yeah, they get out of almost everything, man. This is like scary, like really, really scary. Okay, we got frostbitten, that's alright. Now that we don't have to deal with his weapon art is so sick dude phase two as well with the lightning That's so cool man so bad ass i love it <laughs> that's just honest i love this sign of this enemy it's so well done oh i walked into that ha <laughs> walked into the hitbox that's my bad uh bye mimic Thanks for helping me so far. You were oh god I want I meant to Yeah. I meant to block, but you can actually strafe that attack. I did not know that. Oh that's cool. I did not know that you can strafe that It makes sense though. Can force his uh standard to go over you? It makes sense if you think about it. I'm in a healing loop now, which is not where I want to be. I need to be very, very careful now. Ugh. I need to... Yeah, that's good. God, I've done it again. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught again. But not by that. Last heal. That should... Oh, what? 
No, I'm, I'm dead. No, he is dead faster. <gasps> that was close. That was close. Okay, the veteran's pro prosthesis. Pro prosthesis? How do you pronounce that? Help! <laughs> but yeah, why did we do that? We will get the other half of the secret medallion. Um, but first, 25 endurance. Sweet! Oh, we might need a little bit more. Um, we might go to 30. Actually, I'm not sure. I mean, having more mind will definitely be useful for weapon art usage, right? But honestly, in PvP, I don't, li uh, I don't like to rely too much on that. And I don't want to spam the weapon art in PvP anyways, because that can be countered so easily, but... Hey, there's the Halic Tree secret medallion, the left side of it. Which means... Oh, key items, sorry. We have both of them. So, yeah. We also need to... That's right. I forgot where Rykard's Great Rune is, in which tower. Uh, Radans, I know. So that's definitely something that we can do. Nice. I mean, we do have a little bit of time, but I think we will use that to activate the Grand Lift of Rold again. Only this time we will hoist the Secret Medallion. Alrighty, so you end up in a dungeon that has actually a couple of very interesting mechanics built into it. Um, we will ignore it for this playthrough. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's... that's okay. That's a-okay. Highly recommend to deal with this dungeon by yourselves though, if you want to have uh, an interesting time in this. Yeah. Very interesting stuff. The Ow! I got hit by that. Okay, did not expect to get hit by that. That's okay. Righty. For us, we need to get the grace. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I always forget about this guy. I always do freezing grease. Hey, boys. Don't mind me. The grace is up here. That's all I care about. That's all I need. Please just... Alright. I'm off. Bye! <laughs> Into the snow we go. So, uh, we will go ahead and grab uh, one or two graces and the map for this area. Um, we could actually, do you know what? We will grab the Golden Seed uh, as well to get a good, uh, a good upgrade to ourselves. That means 12 life flasks, 2 mana flasks. That will be nice. I just got turned around a little bit. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, as long as we are heading north, we should be okay. Hey, Wolfie. Hey, guys. Uh, do you want to farm those guys? Uh, they do drop an armor set. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. All right. Okay. Just head north. Just head north. I try to... Be a little bit careful. Oh man, that was not really being careful at all, was it? Right. We should be good. There should be a grace. We run past it. Uh, did we? It's up here, right? Yeah, okay. Right. So that's how I orientate myself in this. Basically, go north <laughs> until you can see again more than like two meters in front of you right uh and then it becomes way easier once you hit this lake here um that's your orientation point basically to where you have a pretty good understanding where you are right in the area once you've gone through this a couple of times just like once probably is enough but yeah uh now the full map of this game is basically uncovered finally uh Nice, right? It's so cool. It's I love this whole hidden area over here. It's oh, oh man. There are some of the most 
crazy challenges awaiting us, as well as um, probably the single hardest boss fight I've ever had to win. It was amazing the first time, but even sweeter the second time, where I was going in with a build that actually was uh, on level one. 125, I think. Yeah, I think I was finished with the build, and all I needed was that boss drop to happen. And it still took me more than one attempt. Like, it took me like half an hour or something. Including a swift break, and then uh, just retry after retry until it finally worked. But yeah, down here is a golden seed. Let's grab that. Awesome. Let's go back to the grace. Upgrade our flasks. Reallocate them. Oh god, I should have gone the other way. <laughs> I forgot about those guys. There's another walking mausoleum over there. Um, you could deal with that if you wanted to. Uh, well, we left out the area where there are two of them. We didn't pointed out, but that's okay, I think. Should be fine, right? Um, I just went past the grace without realizing it, didn't I? Yeah. That's all right, though. You're right here. Sweet. All right. Flasks at charge. Use five seats. Yes. There we go. Flask charges already at max. Oh, here it doesn't even say yet. Okay. Um, 12 and 2. Sounds fair, right? Sounds fair. Plus 10 flasks, 12 health, 2 of them in mana. This cuts down to 1 and 6 in PvP uh, when you are the invader or the duelist that gets summoned, right? Uh, as a duelist, you will not <laughs> need your flasks, honestly. And obviously, uh, maybe the mana flask, but yeah. Still, I like it. Pretty good spread. Uh, we have maxed out our flasks. We are reaching uh, our uh, level that we want. It's 11 more to go. That's easy, easily doable. Uh, no real worries at all, right? Um, we have our weapon on max rank. We have our secondary weapon on max rank. We have the most important talisman acquired already. One of the pretty okay ones. This is, we might switch this out. Uh, we might switch out the green turtle talisman at some point. I just really like the stamina recovery speed. I just, I just like it. Uh, the arsenal charm will receive an upgrade at some point mm. basically also a thing where we uh we've done the preparation for this and all we have to do is do one thing or it's three fights and then we can collect the reward for that so we are set up for success but for today we are done thank you so much for watching and as always take care bye <laughs>